Hey yo guys, what's going on and welcome back to another Full Gut of Blur, a No Man's Sky video. I haven't done a video on No Man's Sky in a little while, but uh, seeing as at the moment Full Guys doesn't really have enough content on it to make a proper video on, I think. So I'm kind of waiting for Season 2 on that game, so I decided to come back to No Man's Sky. And also this game has had the brand new Origins update, and yeah, it seems pretty good now. So, in today's video I'm going to be showing you how to get a lot of money very quickly right off the start with a special technology upgrade. So, let's check it out. Let's go. Okay, so first off, I decided that for the purposes of this tutorial, I'll just start a brand new save on survival mode because I figured survival mode is probably the mode that most people play in this game and also you have lower probabilities of stuff happening so it's overall a decent bit harder okay so I just loaded in here to I think it's an icy planet and yeah minus 54 degrees so yeah I just loaded in to my brand new save and it doesn't really matter what planet you start on although as we do start I like to collect some extra things that we can sell off and make a profit at the space station which this is not part of the like actual like technique strategy that I'm talking about here but it's just a bit of extra so that by the time you get to the space station you already have Alright, so the main thing, if you're going to collect anything off spawn, or off your starting planet, I'd recommend that you collect some of these little alien sack things, these humming sacks, and then you open them up, and they have these little things called, I think they're called albumin piles, and you can take them, and they'll be able to be sold off at the space station for quite a lot. The only bad downside to them is that you can only hold them in stacks of five in your inventory so if you want to collect a lot of them to sell off you need to have a little bit of inventory space set aside but uh, if you can't find any albumin piles i would also recommend that if you find anything called vortex cubes you pick them up because sometimes you can only have one or the other on a certain planet the next thing is destroy any of this hazardous flora because that can give you oxygen and sodium which is pretty important starting off so you don't die as easily so and also if you need oxygen or sodium you can also just collect it from the plants the next thing you need to collect is co cobalt or cobalt or whatever it's called if you collect this you can sell it off for quite a good price at the space station as well so make sure you collect some of that. The only way you can find cobalt is in caves. So make sure if you, you're struggling to find any that you check inside any caves. Because there's normally quite a lot in most caves. Now what you need to do is you just need to collect all the things I just mentioned. And just also carry on collecting everything that you need for the main quest line. And then continue on the main quest line until you fully fix your ship and you're able to fly out into space. Okay, so once you've made it out into space, you want to fly over to the nearest space station. If at this point the space station isn't marked on your map, like how it isn't for me, then I recommend if you look into space and you see loads of lines and you'll kind of reach to the same point, that's probably because there's a space station there so make sure that you go to where wherever that like a lot of lines kind of converge at the same point I know that sounds really stupid but if you if the space station if you haven't completed the quest line far enough that there isn't a space station on your map then that is the only real way to find it so that's what I had to do here but now I am at the space station and once you get inside, you want to hop out and go to the right, the right side, yeah. And you want to sell off all of the stuff that you collected, all of the valuable things that you collected, like the cobalt and the albumin piles or the vortex cubes. Okay, so here I am about to sell off all my valuables that I collected. 
for the stack of Albion Pearls, that's 51k. I also got a Storm Crystal, but I'm not like guaranteeing, I'm not expecting that you're going to find a Storm Crystal on your first planet. But um, yeah, now at this point, I already have a decent bit of money. I've got 117,000 units at the moment, and I'm just now just selling off any extra random things that I got for example this storm crystal which is worth 130,000 by itself which is just like extremely valuable so I might do a whole video on storm crystals in the future but uh, yeah that now I have now got 247,000 units and I haven't even really started doing the technique that, I've, that the whole video is actually about yet. So now we are here, what we need to do next is we need to hop over to the opposite side of the space station and then interact with the multi-tool vendor. Okay, so now what you need to do is interact with him and ask to purchase upgrade modules. Then you need to scroll down and look for a I think it's an yeah, a scanner module now you will need nanites to purchase this and right off the start you might not have enough nanites so to get nanites the best method that I can think of at the moment to get nanites is to go around space stations or any naturally like, occurring structures and look for anything on the table that looks kind of interesting I guess like anything that's glowing like that um, or this orb next to this guy here that is navigational data although somehow I didn't see that when I was recording this but uh, yeah you need to look for them and then interact with them now just for an example here is some navigational data and you hold E or whatever button it is for you and interact with it and there you go I've got 13 nanites in this weird bar area and you can also get nanites from these looking weird things on the wall which you can normally find in places like observatories down on planets but the main places you'll find them is in this kind of lobby area next to the tables and computers and stuff like that in the space stations and you'll see quite a lot of them now I don't know how much I have at the moment they'll also be on the other side of the space station as well it seems I have 157 nanites so I can definitely go and afford to purchase this down here now where is it up the top now the only issue is that at the moment this one is only a C class so if I hover over it it says that it will give me an a thousand percent reward boost when scanning animals on a planet which uh, sounds amazing but I mean a thousand percent in this game isn't really as good as you think it is. Now the only issue here is that I went down to test it and I'm probably not going to show the footage of me testing because I didn't read it properly and I thought it said plants but it was actually animals so um, I didn't scan any animals on this planet so what I'm actually going to do is now I'm going to cut to a clip of me using an S class scanner on my main account or my main save and showing you how much how many units I make on that count and also the other thing to keep in note is that if you don't have access to a gal galactic map to go to other like solar systems which you probably won't if you're trying to make money early game then what I recommend you doing is to go to a cartographer in a space station and look for planetary data to find outposts and observatories and stuff like that which many of them will have a multi-tool vendor inside that sells multi-tool upgrades so you can also try your luck with them to see if you can get an A to like an S class upgrade alright so now it's time for me to go over the stats of my S class scanner on my main account so we first up have a 31% scan radius increased, which is not really a big deal, but 
the main two things that you need this for are the rewards. So the fauna rewards are plus 9,566%, which is very good, and a plus 7,189% for the flora, which is pretty good. So I'm gonna show you how much, how many units this kind of equates to when I actually go scanning. So here we go. Okay, so I'm gonna just quickly scan something like this animal here, and that gives me 153,000 units. Scan this one, probably be exactly the same. Yeah. If I go scan a plant or something, that's 19,000. So a lot less, but it's still very good. Alright guys, so that about does it for this video, if you found it helpful in any way, consider dropping a like and subscribing, I also have two other videos on the screen here, where you can view, find other helpful tips in No Man's Sky to do whatever you want to do, so yeah, but apart from that guys, I'll see you guys in the next video, peace.